Okay, just continuing the example. Um, in the last video, we found our relative roughness to be 0 0.0018. We found our Reynolds number to be 1.69 times 10 to the fifth. And we found our frictional, we actually, we don't know our frictional factor. We'll find that in this video. So, since our Reynolds number was over 2,000, that means the flow in this system was turbulent. And if it was turbulent, we can use the Moody chart. And so, to find the frictional factor, we need to know our epsilon over d, or our relative roughness, and we also need to know our Reynolds number. And in this case, we know both. So, estimating the frictional factor. Our relative roughness was 0 0.0018. And 0 0.0018 doesn't appear on here. The closest thing we have to 0 0.0018 is this 0 0.002. So for now, we'll just use this black line right here. And our, rel and our Reynolds number was 1.69 times 10 to the fifth, which here's the 10 to the fifth, and here's 2 times 10 to the fifth. That would this blue line right here would be 1 times 10 to the fifth. So 1.69 times 10 to the fifth would be somewhere around here. Now if we if we use that Reynolds number and this relative roughness 0 0.002 we can see that the intersection is somewhere here with the blue with the Reynolds number and the frictional factor. <clears throat> and if we use that intersection to find our frictional factor, we see it's uh, 0 0.024, right? Because this is 0 0.02, and this is 0 0.025, and there's five blue lines in between, so it increases by 0 0.001. So this would be 0 0.02, 0 0.021, 0 0.022, 0 0.023, 0 0.024. So our frictional factor, let me write that down. Our frictional factor would be 0 0.024. Using the relative roughness and the Reynolds number, we found the frictional factor. Okay? <clears throat> now, let me actually get a new file. Well, we can do that. In order to find the power of this pump, we need to use our energy head equation. Remember, our energy head equation was, or the total energy head, was the change in total energy head is equal to the summation of all the head pumps, minus the summation of all the turbines, minus the summation of all the frictional head losses, okay? And our frictional head losses, remember we said it split up into major and minor losses. Major losses are mm, losses associated with pipe length only. Minor losses are everything else. So the entrance, the valve, the elbow, the other valve, and the exit are associated with minor losses. So let's do our major losses first. And I'll do that actually, I'll do it on the same paper. So our minor, I mean our major losses. Our major losses are associated with pipe length. And remember, our formula um, was the frictional factor times the length over the diameter of the pipes times the average velocity squared over 2g. OK, so we know the frictional factor. The length of the pipe. OK, well, the pipe starts here. It goes this way, and it ends up here. So we see we have 50 feet this way plus an additional 20 feet this way, plus an additional 30 feet this way. So 50 plus 20 plus 30 is 100 feet. So we know L. Our diameter is 1 inch, so we know the diameter. Our velocity, we found up here to be 24.5, and gravity is just gravity. So if we plug all that in, if we plug in HF, frictional factor, 0 0.024 times the length 100 feet over the diameter which is 1 12th of a foot times the 24.5 which is the average velocity squared 
over 2 times 32.2, right? That's our gravity. If we plug all this in, we get that the major losses associated with this system is 268.435 feet. Okay, that's, that's the major losses. Now, what about the minor losses? Let's do that on a different paper. Actually, I'll keep, we can keep that there. Our minor losses. Remember, minor losses is um, everything else besides the pipe. So it would be the squared entrance, the fully open swing check valve, the standard threaded elbow, and the, and the second uh, valve, plus the exit here at point two. And remember our minor loss. Our minor loss we denote HM is equal to something called the uh, the coefficient, the loss minor loss coefficient, times the average velocity squared over 2g. And since the velocity throughout the entire system is the same and gravity is the same, we can factor this out and add up all the k values for the minor devices, add them all up, and then multiply that total by the v squared over 2g. So let, let's do that. So the so the very first, I'll split this up into item, and then k value. Our first item is a squared entrance. And if we check on the chart, if we check on the chart, the squared entrance, it has a value k 0.5. So its k value is 0.5. Now, if we continue, we have, I'm going to do this in steps, we have two fully open swing check valves. So uh, a fully open valve, its K value on the table here, swing check valve fully open, one inch is 2.9. So we'll write that there. And just, just to um, clarify, there's I'll say 2 or times 2, meaning there's 2 of those valves, okay? And if we, if we look back, we have 1 elbow, and the elbow, if we look here on the table, the standard elbow for a 1 inch pipe is 1.5, so its K value, I'll just, I'll just do elbow is 1.5. So its K value is 1.5. And we also have an exit, right? A pipe exit to the uh, second reservoir. And its K value is 1. So I'll just say exit is 1. Okay? So if we take these K values and plug it into this formula to find the minor losses, we can say that H minor is going to be all of the K values. So 0 0.5 plus 2 times 2.9, right, because there's two fully open check valves, plus the 1.5 for the elbow, plus the one for the exit, and the velocity. So, so this, this is all the k values, minor loss coefficients, and, and we multiply that by v squared over 2g, and the v squared over 2g is 24.5 squared, over 2 times 32.2. And if we solve all this out, we get that the minor losses are um, 82.0217 feet. Okay, so that's the minor losses. Remember, our major losses was 268.435 feet. And our summation. So now that we have the major and minor losses, we can say that the total frictional head losses is the major losses plus the minor losses. I'll just say major, minor. Okay? And remember our major loss was 268.4 oops, 260 oh my goodness, this should be an 8. So 268. 
four three five and our minor loss up here was eighty two point zero two one seven feet and so the total frictional head loss is about three hundred fifty point five feet okay and we'll finish up the problem um, in the next video